Remind me to not upset you in the future. Yeah, I'm a... Hey. Carla, that was brilliant. She's been doing my head in. Someone should have done that weeks ago. Yeah, I nearly slapped her myself. Everyone's got the breaking point, haven't they? Yeah, what does she mean about Robert not knowing all she'd done for him? Beats me. I gave up trying to understand that woman a long time ago. Oh, come on, let's get a drink. Good idea. Yeah, take the taste away. Oh, she's probably just mouthing off like she always is. So what did you mean if I knew everything you'd done for me? Excuse me, but Carla has just about broken my jaw and it's me you're laying into. I want an answer. Well, it's Carla. You should be having a go at, not me. Oh, you've done more than enough of that for both of us these last few weeks. Come on! What happened, Tracy? What did you do? Nothing. Oh, so you just thought you'd say something that you didn't mean? No! We have got everything we wanted. Why do you want to unpick it all? I don't know, Robert. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I believe you. Oh, we missed it. Eggs have all gone, I'm afraid. Oh, Sorry, mate. Come on, we'll go to the shop. Go on. Sweet tea, good for a shock. I don't know the shock. Not what it looked like to me. I do this sort of thing all the time. Nevertheless, it's bound to help. Me or you? Sorry. Well, it might make you feel bad, but it's not going to do that for me, is it? She's only trying to help. Do you know what might be a shock? Is if people treated me like I was normal and not made assumptions. In fact, do you know what? If that happened, the shock would probably kill me. You're quite right. I should not have presumed. All right, come on, let's get you on. Jake, come on. Put that down. Come on. Take care, Izzy. Oh. Uh, come on, you. Bethany brought that in for me. It's all right. And it was Mum's idea, actually. I thought it might cheer you up. <laughs> oh. All these photos of David looking weird as a kid. Yeah, but look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the state of you when you were a kid. Oh, I was born beautiful. Let me see. Is that your dad? Yeah. Do you remember him? No, not really. You have a look of him. Do I? Yeah, same eyes. Whereas Harry doesn't look anything like his dad. Yeah, thanks for dragging him into it. But I'm just saying that there's no likeness. Well, why say anything? I'm just pointing out that Harry won't remind us of Callum. Oh, well, who needs Harry when we've got you? That's not fair. All right, well, maybe your mum's just a bit tired. Maybe we should go, Bethany. It's getting late anyway. Well, I hope you feel better tomorrow, Mum. I'm not ill. All right, well, we'll see you anyway. Ring me if you need anything. No, Jason. On a job. You don't know what he's missing. Mm. Ah. Oh, I say. Sorry, this took a little longer. Oh, I'm sure it's worth the wait. Better taste it first. This is an egg and chip establishment, so you can't possibly fail. Hey, mind your language, you. <laughs> to good friends. To yeah. good friends. Good friends. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. If you made a rod for your back here, we'll be expecting more of this. <laughs> OK for you, Todd? Yeah, it's just... Well, it's just a shame Michael couldn't be here to enjoy it. The vegetables are touch over done, you think? No. Tastes fine to me. Have you heard from him, Mum? No. Have you heard from Carl or Jules or um, Marcus, you know, any of the partners that you don't see anymore? You know what I liked about Michael? Oh, so you like him now. What you saw was what you got. Never tried to hide anything. Mm. Apart from the stuff he nicked from other people's houses, oh. <laughs> or the woman he did the DIY for and didn't tell her that he burgled from her. No, Todd has a point. I mean, what you saw with Michael was what you got. I mean, there was a man with, well, no hidden depths. Mm. Yeah, nothing nasty in the undergrowth, that's for sure. Mm. So, Michael, in his absence, mm. sure is very happy in his ice cream van. Michael. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, come on, shall we make a move? Oh, no way am I letting her spoil my evening. Do 
what's going on in there? Do you think I should go in? No, no, leave him to it. You said about everything you'd done for me. You did do something, didn't you? Was it Nick? <laughs> Nick? Do you think I'd soil myself with that? Well, it was something. What? Tracy, I won't ask All again. All right! You're... All right. The 10K that I got for you, it wasn't a business loan. Why am I not surprised? Look, do you want to wear this or not? There was a guy that I used to know from when I had the shop. You know, he had a load of dodgy laptops. He didn't know how to offload them, so I sold them for him and we split the profits. Who would you sell them to? Does it matter? What? A bloke. Mick. Look, I can give you his number. Why don't you tell me straight well, away when I, I ask? Because I couldn't bear you having a go at me like this. I mean, do you blame me? Look, I promise you that I will never do something like this again. Look, we have to... Uh... We have to agree that from now on, we have two different empires. I get it. And if, if you're insecure about me and Leanne, we just work together, right? I'd, I'd never cheat on you. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know that. Then let's start trying to act like grown-ups, shall we? Of course, it's not the first time she's been out with a chef. Really? No. She went out with a bloke called Kieran. All over him she was while his restaurant was going well. And it all went south. She told him to clear his bank account before his business partner found out. And did he? No. He got cold feet and confessed. Then she nearly ended up inside. Can we talk about something else for five seconds? OK. <laughs> Fine by me. Oh, hello. Oh, she does not look happy. Oh, I don't believe it. Only. All sorted? Uh, yeah, for now. So, how did you stop Tracy trying to kill Carla then? It wasn't easy. So, what's happening? We've agreed to keep our separate interests separate. Apologies for the upset. No, it's not your fault. So, dare we ask what the big secret was? Oh, it's just the usual Tracy Buster. Any wine on the go? Thanks. Right, well, I'll have to love you and leave you. Otherwise, Michelle will rip my arms off and batter me with the wet ends. And we wouldn't want that. Thanks for the nosh, Patrick. Any time. Sure you don't want a coffee? Yep. Absolutely not. Got to go. Later. Bye. Let me give you a hand on No, you. no, no. You've done more than enough today. Do you want a coffee? That would be wonderful. Todd? No time. So what is it you've got against me, Todd? This wouldn't be a touch of paranoia, would it? Well, I was born way back in the 1960s, oh. not yesterday. Oh, a child of the love generation. Didn't that go sour after the honeymoon? Why not just say, what's on your mind? OK. The last thing my mum needs right now is another bad experience. I didn't realise you were such a doting son. You see, you might have fooled her and Jason. You don't fool me. I'm not trying to fool anyone. <laughs> I just want us all to rub along. Yeah, like one big happy family. If you like. Hmm. It'd be a shame if we can't be friends. Because I'm going nowhere. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But in the meantime, if you think you can walk all over this family like you did the Windasses, think uh, again. Is he behaving himself? He couldn't be more charming if he tried. Hmm. Don't mind what we decide between us, then. No! I mean, there'll be some fine-tuning to do, but we can sort that out when I get back. I don't know where he's got to. 
Olivia, hi. How are you? I'm good. Problem? <sighs> this client, Saskia, wants me to plan a wedding. Now she's just told me she's going away on business for a couple of weeks. So you can get on with it in peace? What's wrong with that? Oh, no. She's leaving her fiancé to handle it. A bloke planning a wedding? Yes, exactly. And most of them are clueless. So then they just agree with everything you say, and then the bride-to-be comes home and changes everything. What are you going to do? Not much I can do, is there? So, do you want to hear all about my meal with Todd and Phelan? You could have cut the atmosphere with a razor blade. Not just now, Sean. You sure you're okay with all that? Absolutely fine, yeah. Sorry I'm late. Where have you been? I'm held up at work. You could have rung. It's only ten minutes. <clears throat> anyway, this is Michelle, who you'll be organising the wedding with. Meet Will. Chatterton? Michelle! <laughs> <laughs> you two know each other. Uh, we were at school together. Yeah, I don't believe it. Yeah, small world, eh? <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Still don't see why she snapped at me. <sighs> she just had a baby. Well, yeah, but I was trying to cheer her up. Look, you, you didn't do anything wrong, right? No one's blaming you. Except her. Ooh, good timing card for Sarah. Oh. Maybe I was just going to pop it round. All right, cheers, Jasmine. How are they both? Um, yeah, all right. Well, baby's got a slight infection. Other than that, I won't offer any advice. Poor Izzy popped a rib this afternoon. I weighed in trying to help. She nearly bit my head off. Mm, well, it's always best to say nothing, I suppose. How true. Mm. See ya. See, See ya. ya. Just like you did, actually, today when you were asked your school was. Oh, look, Bethany, if you don't tell us what's going on with this bullying malarkey, then how can we help? Talk to her in her state. Are you joking? Well, then talk to me. Look, I can handle that on my own, all right? So what are you doing then? Uh, architect. No way. Yeah, got my own little practice. Uh, well, you see, I always thought you'd be high flying. Well, you've not done too bad yourself. Wedding organizer, own pub. Well, half a pub. And technically it's my husband, so. You will do some actual planning while I'm away and not spend all your time reminiscing. If he gives you any trouble, Michelle, you've got my number. Reverse the charges if you have to. Don't you worry, I'm used to it. Come on, anyway. You're meant to be taking me out for dinner. See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Coincidence. How long's it been since you've seen him? Oh, 20 odd years. Know him well, did you? Quite well. I knew it. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Then why are you blushing? I'm not. You're going to have to tell us. <sighs> Had a little fling at, did we? I know you, Michelle. All right. OK, we were... An item. <gasps> Long, big, short, small. We were fairly full on for a while. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting it. No, come on, we were 14 years old. Neither of us knew what we were doing. I'd never been out with anyone before. You know what they say. First cut is the deepest. First love never dies. Oh, get in there. Go on. <laughs> Spark out. Sure. Yeah, dead to the world. I thought I'd stay for a bit. Make sure I don't get smashed out of my brain. Oh, just in case that injury turns out worse than you thought. Oh, it's unlikely. Well, there's nothing like being too safe, is there? We can watch a DVD or something. If you like. Great right end to an Easter weekend. Uh, holidays are never what they cracked up to be. No? no I must be playing now. I'm glad to get back to work. Oh, I feel better already. What do you fancy? My left foot, born on the 4th of July. You're not helping. This is the only thing that helps right now. What, well, no, I don't count? You're not here half the time. All right, I'll go then. I didn't mean that. Stay. Only pick something that'll make us laugh, eh? How is he? Doing well. Really? Oh, yeah. But with this infection that he's got... Oh, it's all under control. He's on antibiotics now. How are you feeling? I'm not bothered about me. Sarah, I assure you, he's fine. So, uh, how are your visitors? Nice when they come and nice when they go, eh? I want to see the doctor. Very well, I'll bleep him. No, I, I, I want to see him now, because I've told you that something's wrong and you're ignoring me. He'll come as soon as he's free. Just try and get some rest now. What's up? Nothing. 
you're in pain. Yeah, but... What? I can't go on like this. I went to rely on this stuff. Is this my life from now until Jake's grown up? Of course not. And you can't do the simplest things without being in pain. And all I want to do is be a good mum. You are a good mum. I think sometimes I'm thinking I should never have had him. Don't say that. Was it fair to bring him into this is world? He, is he? I can't do half the things the other mums can. You've got to stop thinking like this, all right? Jake adores you because you love him and you, you, you're fantastic. And you're better than half those other mums because of what you've got to go through, yet you still do it. It's only going to get harder to win it. And, and then what? This is the hardest bit, OK? It's the, the terrible twos. So I'm going to get this out of the way and then... It'll get easier. Yeah. And meanwhile, it's the last one. Then I'll get you some more. Oh, I hate having to ask you because I know you ain't getting it from me. What choice have we got? <laughs> oh, you should have seen her. She was all over the place, saying one thing one minute and another the next. I just got us out of there as quick as I could. And how's Bethany? Wondering what the heck is going on. I just said, look, it's probably her hormones or something, but whether she bought it or not, I don't know. Well, that's going to be fun when she comes home. Yeah, well, hopefully she'll have calmed down by then. And if she doesn't? Well, I don't know. But one thing's for sure, I can't keep going on like this. It's doing me head in. But if it's all because she can't hack having Callum's kid, then that's not going to go away in a hurry, is it? <laughs> don't mention Callum, whatever you do. She practically bit Bethany's head off today, all because she said Harry didn't look like him. Of course. I could just be overthinking this, you know. She has been pretty hit up. All these memories of Billy that it's brought back. Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to take each day as it comes. I mean, one thing's for sure, she loves the kid. She just wants to forget that Callum ever existed. We'll just have to do our best to help her. I'm not watching this. She didn't spoil it for you, did she? Come on, what's a party without a floor show? It's just, uh, I don't know, you seemed... seemed a bit quiet after it. Well, I'm just taking it all in, aren't I? We're leaving, we're starting afresh somewhere else. Well, I'm your second thoughts, eh? Oh, can't come quick enough, honestly. Have I ever told you? I love you, Carla, Carla. Yes, you have. Will you tell me again? I love you. I love you. I forgot. I, I need to quickly see Michelle. OK, I'll come with you. Well, she did ask to speak to me quietly, and I just... It might be girly. Oh. <laughs> uh, OK, maybe not. I'll be ten minutes. Yeah. doing this ends now does it i won't be held to ransom by you anymore you've got the bistro now back off or what well tracy i will make your life so not worth living do you know i nearly told him at the hospital a few weeks back oh yeah tracy then why didn't you because watching you jump through hoops and beg me, literally, to keep quiet, well, I can't tell you what a pleasure that's been. Knowing that you're spending every waking hour terrified about what I'm gonna do next. 
I don't believe you. Well, you can believe what you like. That's all it was. To string me along. Pretty much. <laughs> Your face! You didn't need to do any of those things, Carla. Your dirty little secret was safe all along. You sick cow. What, and you're the Vestal Virgin, I suppose. You have brought all of this upon yourself. Right, well, thank you for the entertainment. Good night. Well, go on then, get lost. in a new role for Rowan Atkinson as one of the world's most respected detectives, May Gray brings a brand new feature-length drama to ITV tonight. And there's more new drama at the weekend as the Durrells start a new life in the Greek sunshine, perfect for a Sunday night at 8.00.